The Battle of the Trident may have been an important victory for the usurper, but it was the treachery and barbarism of Tywin Lannister that sealed the fate of the Targaryen dynasty. My father, King Ares, had ever been a friend to the Lions of the Rock. But Ares graciously brought Tywin to court, making him the youngest hand of the king in history. He gave him power. He gave him respect. He made it possible for Tywin to restore House Lannister to glory. Ares and Tywin governed side by side for twenty prosperous years. Still, when the usurper called his banners in rebellion, Tywin Lannister ignored his king's pleas for help and stayed holed up in his stronghold of Casterly Rock. In time, my brother, Prince Rhaegar, was dead. The realm was in turmoil, and the usurper's forces were said to be riding for King's Landing. What a glorious sight it must have been when a force of 10,000 Lannister men showed up at the gate of the capital with Lord Tywin at their head, pledging support to his beleaguered king. Ares opened the gates for his old friend. Instead, Lannister and his men proceeded to plunder and destroy the city that he had called home for decades. As the capital was ravaged and its people terrorized, Jaime Lannister, son of Lord Tywin, proved every bit as treacherous. He killed my father, the king, at the foot of the Iron Throne. The Lannisters entered the Red Keep and Tywin ordered the deaths of the rest of the royal family. It is said Princess Rhaenys was found cowering under her father's bed and put to the sword. She was only a child. As for Rhaegar's widow, Elia, she was forced to watch as Lannister thugs dashed her baby son's head against a wall before being raped and murdered herself. As I was the heir to my father's throne, I had been spirited away to Dragonstone with my mother, Queen Rayla, who was with child. As a raging summer storm battered the island fortress and destroyed the Targaryen fleet as it lay at anchor, my sister, Daenerys, was born. My mother, the Queen, died giving birth. Now, some 17 years later, the rightful King still lives in exile. But a day of reckoning is coming. I will sail west as Aegon the Dragon did centuries before. I will take back my father's throne with blood and fire. And I will punish the treacherous dogs who sought to destroy my family. And the people shall rejoice.